This text reminds us that our lives are a living sermon to a watching world. Our lives are a living sermon to a watching world. Our lives, how we actually live our days, how we carry ourselves, the the choices that we make, the quality of our character, the quality of our work, how we respond to adversity and trial. Our lives are always preaching a sermon inevitably. They can't not be preaching a sermon. They are always declaring what we believe about God. They declare what we believe about His power and His providence over all things. And we see this in the text today, because why does Abimelech want to make a covenant with Abraham? We've already noted it. It's because he's observed Abraham's life, and he concluded, based on watching Abraham live, that God is with you in everything that you do. Now, to be sure, Abimelech had at that one time a very clear reminder that God was with Abraham in everything he did, namely, when God came to him in a dream and said, you are a dead man because Sarah is that man's wife. And so, yeah, he certainly has that, but it has been some years since that now. So he's not just merely referring to that one instance. He says, God is with you in everything you do. Abimelech has been taking note of Abraham's life, whether abundance or adversity, Abraham engaged it with an unflinching unflinching faith in the confidence of Yahweh. And this became a powerful sermon to Abimelech and Phicol and the Philistines in the land. In fact, his constant trust in God became a context that God's power was put on display in front of those who, humanly speaking, were the power of the land. So much so that the king and the commander of the entire land no longer placed their faith in their power or in their army or in their gods for protection, which they had always done. It became clear that the only true protection, the only place to secure a true hope for their land, was found in getting on the right side of the living God. Not by building a a bigger empire, not by building a bigger army. The only place Abimelech realized that true security could be found was by getting on the right side of the living God. So, he was the true king and the true commander in Gerar. Abimelech didn't know that before Abraham showed up. And because of Abraham and the way he lived his life, he knew that now. And he said, I want to get in on that, whatever it takes. Abraham's life and faith preached a powerful sermon to a watching world. And so is your life and mine. And and especially when we face trials. We we often talk about how the Lord ordains trials for for our personal sanctification. And he ordains hardship to, to forge our faith. We talk about that often. And of course, that is true. But he also, as we see in this text, ordains trials so that those around us can can watch us engage them and see the power of God in our life and see the goodness of Christ in our life and see how our peace and our contentment wasn't ultimately founded on anything earthly, but was founded on the gospel of Jesus Christ and the, the certainty that he holds us fast. That's one of the reasons we go through hard things. And so a watching world can see the goodness and power of God on display in our life. 